Hello everyone, it's Jenna here with 10 Minutes of Trusting where I open my art journal and create something as an opportunity to spend time with God in just 10 minutes. So here we go. I felt like God gave me something specific that I wanted to recreate for you today. Um, so I'm going to just use paint today and I'm only using three colours and uh, I'm a bit nervous if I'm honest because I don't normally um, try and paint something representational. I normally start my art journal page without any idea of what it's going to look like when it's finished but today I had a really specific idea of painting a the edge of a waterfall so like the precipice of going over the top of a waterfall in a boat so I've done a bit of sky here I'm painting in uh, the river now yeah I'm not wonderful at uh, painting scenes or landscapes or anything like that so you'll have to bear with me um, I'm kind of trying to stay in my comfort zone by using a big brush and even using my fingers to do some painting which will just keep the whole thing fun and loose. So the idea behind this image, I don't know whether you've heard the phrase that life is a roller coaster sometimes and I think to be honest it feels a bit more like white water rafting where, you know, one minute you're in a boat enjoying some beautiful scenery and then the next minute you feel like you're capsized and or you're going through some really rough rapids being thrown from side to side. And you never know what's coming at you around the next bend. And I really had this feeling of being in a small boat on a really choppy river, fast moving river. There's some stuff going on in my life at the moment. We're waiting for some more test results to come through, um, health related for a loved one, not for myself. And when you can't see what the future will bring, it's easy to feel out of control, anxiety and fear about what's around the next corner. And we all have those moments in our life where we're kind of holding our breath. Uh, waiting for something potentially um, devastating to come, uh, feeling the worst, thinking the worst. At those moments, what can we do? We, we just need to hold on to Jesus, really. And so that's what the theme of this picture is about. So I've kind of scratched into my paint a bit with, you saw me with a quill um, doing that just to make some marks and now I'm starting to splatter to give the impression of water splashing up from beyond the edge of the waterfall. I'm kind of enjoying um, making a big old mess while I do this on my kitchen table. I'm going to have to scrape off all those little tiny dots of paint later on with my nails before my husband sees them <laughs> but <laughs> this is just um, quite a nice playful uh, fun way of getting the impression of the the violence really of the water crashing over the edge and the the idea that the kind of the violence was coming but you couldn't quite see it it's just over the edge that's why I put this white piece of paper here just to mask the um, river part so that the the splatters are mainly on the edge so yeah just using three colors today just paint um, I thought I'd challenge myself not to resort to collage like I usually do I think it's a cerulean hue the blue one a Payne's grey and a white. So now this is my attempt at drawing the end of a little boat. Don't really know what I'm doing here. I don't have any visual references with me, so I'm just kind of doing it from my imagination. This is kind of the helm of the boat 
heading at full speed along this choppy river and I'm imagining myself in the boat but also Jesus in the boat with me like he was with the disciples when he calmed the storm for them. some more splatters now this time in white imagining the water splashing up on the rocks on either side so this is a water soluble pencil an intense pencil I think this is indigo which is a very very dark blue colour and I'm using my left hand just to do some kind of scribbly movements and just feeling like the whole thing, the whole picture needs more movement and looseness in it so I'm just kind of scribbling on it now. So I'm thinking about what it would be like to actually be in this boat with Jesus and how I would react when I realised that we were heading towards the edge, um, about to go over this waterfall. And I thought I would just intuitively reach out and cling on to him in that moment. So I decided to write, hold tight to me as the thing that Jesus was saying to me in this moment. And then I'm just adding an ER to the um, tight so that it actually reads hold tighter to me because I felt as, as I was writing it I felt that that's what Jesus wanted to say that um, as the edge gets nearer I'm to hold on tighter to him in that moment. I'm just using a brush with some water on it to activate this water soluble intense pencil so those words stand out a little bit more and have a kind of watery effect. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I'm trying to do a 10 minutes trusting journaling page for you here on YouTube every Tuesday. So if you'd like to keep in touch, don't forget to hit the subscribe button now and I'll see you next week. Thank you.